the youth runner here with Jane Hengren from Timview Utah High School Activity Association 5A uh, final. Jaw still being picked up off the floor, 16-21-48 at Sugar House Park. Ladies and gentlemen, that would be on a lot of boys' state podiums uh, with the phenomenal performance. Jane, obviously, I know you've, uh, you've been feeling good. Uh, there were no obstacles to overcome uh, on, the, on the morning of the state final. Just, just how, like, how blessed did you feel and just how much gratitude did you feel just to have good energy and health and just be able to go out and just showcase you know, what a senior you know, wants to do in her last time at a state meet? Yeah, that's what it's all about, right, is giving it your best on the day. So, um, yeah, just running out there with lots of gratitude and inspiration. This course, as I've been saying, is just so, like, historic. So many uh, state races have been put on here. So, uh, just, it was a celebration today of um, the hard work I've been able to put in and my time as a high school runner. So, Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, when we talked at Timpanogos, you know, and, I mean, obviously your, your progression, and it's been... December 7th, December 7th, December 7th. But did you allow yourself, I mean, especially because this will be the last time, at least for cross country, that you'll race on Utah soil. Mm -hmm. Like, did you allow yourself to kind of you know, uh, soak that in and really be present and appreciate that? Oh, totally, yeah. And yeah, I mean, something on me on the starting line was like, just clicked and I was like, wow, this really is like my last one for cross country at, in Utah, which is kind of crazy, at least in high school, yes. right? But. Um, yeah, like I was just glad to be healthy out there today. Most definitely. And, uh, I'm, obviously, whether it was going to be at the Regional Athletic Complex or Sugar House Park, but especially because it's at Sugar House Park, and like you said, just the, the nostalgia, the history, the tradition. Yeah. Every great runner in the state has been on here, you know, at, at, uh, at least one time in, in, in their career. Like, I mean, you've won three of them, and asking me. You know, or you know, asking me to identify which one is is the best, or asking you to identify. I mean, I feel like you know, be prisoner of the moment uh, because they're all meaningful in their own, in their own uh, separate ways. But because you got an opportunity to, uh, to, to to do this here, like, is there just like a little extra special sense of uh, of achievement uh, in comparison, even to the past couple, you know, at, at the at the athletic complex, uh, uh, just because you know, like, how synonymous this course is with you know, with the history of the state. Yeah, I mean, I haven't run on this course since my freshman year, so it was fun to be back on it. Um, and yeah, yeah, this race is just special, right? Because my team, um, I feel like we have a new, we had a new level of determination and dedication this year. Um, like in a big part, thanks to our coach Jamie. Yep. She's amazing. So uh, we were just excited to show off um, what we've been working for. Um, and race day is just a celebration. So. Um, had a lot of fun out there today. Not only for you, but for the team. Like, it's one thing to get there. It's another thing to stay there, right? right. I mean, obviously, you and I talked about, like, bringing home the first one for Tempe since 96, right? And then wanting to remain that standard. But then you individually, you know, like, I don't know if you're aware of this, but you're only the 12th woman in state history in any classification to win at least three in a row. You know, and that that dynamic dozen reads like the who's who, you know, uh, ever. I mean, the only other woman to do it in 5A was Carly Hansen at Woods Cross, and that's before your, you know, your career even started. So, I mean, like I said, it's, it's one thing to get there. It's another thing, just have the health and the availability to stay there. Like, uh, what is that, even when there's been rocky paths, you know, in September and October, what has it meant to you to be able to have the opportunity just to get on the line every every time at a stadium? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how, how that's actually worked out because there's definitely been some rough, rough little uh, bits and pieces for my time in cross country so far. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just special. I I love state cross country and uh, this is a big meet and lots of people show up and show out. So uh, glad to be back here every year. Last thing, obviously three more weeks uh, before you go down to Toka Sticks. I mean, not just because of how powerful the performance was, uh, was today, but do you take away the, the reassurances that you wanted to just in terms of how the body needed to feel today and, and what will be you know, the keys in terms of like the, the very fine points of sharpening in the next three weeks? Mm -hmm. Like what are they? Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean just like yeah, what, what will you look forward to sharpening mm -hmm. in the next three weeks knowing that you get to race at sea level again, Jane? Yeah, that would be great. So yeah, I mean I haven't felt like myself for probably like two to three months this cross country season and this past like week and a half I started feeling like myself surprisingly which is just fantastic I don't know exactly what was happening there for you deserve it Jane no more heavy legs girl yeah I know it's great so um yeah I mean this is just confidence booster and um I'm excited just I mean I haven't been doing anything different since summer like 
and I'm not going to change anything different. I'm just going to keep doing my thing, um, keep working with my coach, um, and just show up as myself, as my best self on the day. So. Well, you certainly were today, maybe the best self of anybody ever at Sugar House Park. Uh, congratulations. Well Thank served. you. Thanks.